YouTubers, I'm back and as you can see from the intro, I've been busy this week. But before I get on to that, I need uh, to give a big massive apology uh, for all our mobile uh, viewers out there. I got a comment from Big Banana who said, I can't hear you when you're in front of the camera and you're right. You couldn't hear me when he was in front of the of, sorry. You couldn't hear me when I was in front of the camera on a mobile device. And I don't know why. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, so if you know what it is, what the issue is, uh, please let me know. And it seems to be related to the radio mic that I use. I put a raw footage up there and had a little play with it, and it's still the same on mobile voices, and that's. Raw. I've not applied any filtering or taken any hiss out of it um, on there. So it's a bit of a puzzle. I'm working on the fix. As you can see this week, the radio mic has gone and will remain gone until I fix the issue. So in the meantime, um, if you um, know how to fix it, I think it's to do with the uh, frequencies on which the mobile phone speakers operate because it's such a narrow band and I think I need to play with a graphic equaliser and find something to uh, fix it. But up until then, until I find uh, a fix and work out what it is, the, the mic has gone. So that's sorted for the future. Well, let's crack on. So what have I done this week? As you have seen, I put the ducting and fan in. So I used six inch galvanised uh, steel, is it steel? Um, which is 152 millimetres. The fan I've used is an eight inch uh, fan with a reducer on to six inch. Now, the, uh, the model of fan I use is an SNP Vent 200NK. And I'll explain a little bit why I chose that. As most of you guys uh, who have already built their uh, brewery, and, and especially electric ones have been following for the past few years the electric brewing uh, company's website. They use, because it's over in America, they use CFM, um, which is cubic foot per meter, is it? I, I don't know, but anyway. Um, so I'm trying to get into these erms. I'm umming a lot on video, so I want to try and slow myself down so I'm not erming. So, do apologise because I've, I've been watching previous videos and I'm, going, I'm cringing going, oh, I need to stop burning. Right, so what I did was uh, I rang local, a local company that did venting in my area, spoke to a guy who was very knowledgeable, explained what I was doing and he said uh, because the Americans use CFM and we use Pascal, it's like chalk and cheese, it's measuring two separate things. The uh, CFM is measuring distance, um, CFM, cubic foot per minute, that's it. So that they're measuring per minute at a distance. What we're measuring in the UK is the force. And that's completely the way of completely way of doing put my teeth in, completely different way of doing things. I did Google search it and couldn't find an answer. But I did find one um, chatting to various people. One person said if you times the CFM by 2.2, it'll put you in the rough ballpark of what you need to be. So do your own research if, if you're looking for a fan and what sort of power um, it needs to be. But I've got that one and about a thousand, um, I think it's Pascals in there, which was more than, well, it's more than sufficient now. It was previously done on my thousand litre pots, which I'm not using now. So that should be more than sufficient. So anyway, the duct tins in, as you saw, I cemented the area in. I also, uh, another one there, creeping out. I also uh, prepared the uh, ply board with PVA glue. Like I did last time, two coats at 20% front and back and around the edges, 50% on the back, on the back wall um, as it gets quite damp and moist I expect there so that's just to help uh, weatherproof it and some of them eagle-eyed uh, people out there will have noticed there's some cladding missing exposing some rock wool and you're exactly right that's because I had a leaky tap and here's what happened so I was greeted with this uh, when I went down into the cellar and discovered the uh, incoming water tap um, was leaking. Uh, has delivered good service, has been installed for 20 plus years. 
uh, so I just needed a replacement so I popped out the shops got a new one and as you can see off came the cheap B&Q cracky cladding and uh, along went to fix after loads more water spillage brand new tap was fitted using the existing fittings um, the nuts there and plenty of PTE tape some of you eagle-eyed viewers out there would have uh, picked up that the uh, water piping for the sink has now been fitted uh, with the hot and cold uh, taping on there. Also, you'll see in the top right-hand corner there's an envelope. Now that is performing a uh, weep test on one of the uh, pipes which will be supplying the uh, RO water and the um, other filters. Uh, which are going to be attached for local brews. So that's my uh, leaky uh, tap sorted. I only spotted that after doing the plumbing, um, putting in those pipes, um, because there was a lot of water on the floor, which I was using the dehumidifier to pull up. And that area, um, for some strange reason, just wouldn't clear and remove the damp. So after that inspection, um, I found that. So what else have I done? Um, I put up, which you'll see behind me, um, this um, railing to hold the suspended ceiling. That's now um, all back up around the room. Um, what's to be done? Um, next week you're going to get the tiling. So the tiling's to be done. Um, that's to go up. Um, what else is there to be done? Oh, I've got to put a corner unit in. I managed to get some um, kitchen top at one metre length from the local um, DIY merchants. So uh, they've got an off cut which is selling me nice and cheap. Um, and over here I've got the fermentation chamber to build. So I need to look at me design for that, how I'm going to do it. I've been looking at uh, Kevin Clement's fermentation build yet again and I spotted he did an update he had a, a is it a fern gas leak um, on there um, he was cleaning out his uh, uh, freezer compartment and managed to put a hole in it so that was um, interesting so um, I watched that um, and that kind of like led me across one of the paths I was going to go down with the fermentation chamber is I was going to break the seal on the piping um, because I felt if I laid the piping how I wanted it, not how it could be fitted, um, that was a lot, uh, that was a lot better route. And I'll just just seal it all up and get it refilled. But looking at uh, Kevin's uh, video, I'm having second thoughts um, using that method. It might not be a good idea as I think. If you know different and know more about the Put my teeth in again and know more about refrigeration than I do, please leave me a comment below. Um, is it a good idea to do it or not? It's not it's not too expensive to get them refilled, so that's why I'm thinking uh, it could be a nice idea to, to do it that way. So that's the fermentation chamber coming on, so that's kind of imminent. Um, that's a build that's going to happen in December together with my corner unit, so I don't know how that will make it onto the videos. Anyway, moving on to part of the video where I do shout outs. So that's done. So um, I do shout outs to subscribers who um, subscribe or YouTube videos that I've watched. Um, I've, who have I watched recently now? Obviously I've just mentioned Kevin's um, regarding the, uh, the, the free on leak. Um, I've also just watched Harry Brews. I've caught up with the uh, Harry Brews 69's videos. I've not watched this for months. So I've been, been doing lots of binge watching um, to get through this and I've finally caught up. Uh, great launch by the way, so absolutely fantastic. Enjoying watching those videos. Also, I'll give a shout out to uh, my newest subscribers of the past few months. Uh, Abby Homebrew subscribed, thank you so much for that. Mike J subscribed recently, thank you very much for that. And the Titan of uh, Competitions, and thank you very much. SJ Paul has subscribed to my channel. Wow, I feel really honoured um, with that. I, what, what do you say? The Titan um, of American brewing um 
Uh, as um, people will know who's uh, been brewers for a long time, um, SJ Poor um, did his brewing challenge that it went global, didn't it? Everyone came in and everyone was collecting things and I know various people from the UK um, entered that competition. So, yes. Uh, and, well, and Stevie, so thank you very much Stevie for subscribing, thanks to everybody. If I didn't give you a mention, hopefully I'll give you a mention in upcoming videos. And that's it for the shout outs. Uh, moving on, I think that's the end. Um, hopefully I've kept it into just under 10 minutes. And until I see you next time, all the best and mash on.